one of Seattle's iconic chefs has teamed up with one of Seattle's iconic winemakers to launch a new meal that you can get at Costco. And today we are joined by the icons themselves, <laughs> Mark McNeely from Mark Ryan Winery and Restaurant Tour. John Howie, welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Good to see you guys. So you guys have been friends for a while. I've known John since pretty much day one of my uh, my uh, winery. <laughs> yeah, for sure. forever. Yeah. I love that. So tell us kind of about this partnership and how you came up with this. Well, it's kind of interesting because the, the stroganoff was something that Costco had talked to me about doing. Yeah. And so we decided to do it, and then I said, you know what? What would make this even better is to put Mark's wine in it. Yeah. So I called Mark, yeah. and we had a little conversation for a while, and eventually I said, hey, you're going to want to do this. This is going to be awesome. And he said, okay, let's do it. Yep. So for the first time, we're using wine as an ingredient Love that. in this uh, recipe here, which is fantastic. Yeah. So show us how to make it. What are we doing? Okay, well, I'll show you how it comes. So it comes in this box, okay. right? Mm -hmm. And what makes it nice is that it's not all one package. So you have a sauce oh. here, you Pretty have the sauce. noodles, which make it so the noodles stay nice and firm, okay. mm -hmm. and then there's also beef. Okay. So beef. the beef piece, it's all together, and mm -hmm. you can put it into a pan, like I've done here, or you can mix it, put it in the microwave, and it takes like six minutes. Okay. So there's lots of options. You can put it in the, uh, you can put it in the oven as well. Mm -hmm. Now, Costco is so great about getting great products for their for their members. I mean, I am not just a fan, but a member. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Got to get I all the deals. All and so I like to put just a little bit of sour cream on top to finish and then some chives and china. You, I know that Carly's like going to try the soup that we do at Costco. Okay. Which Tell me is, about the soup. So this is a uh, Thai coconut curry soup. Mm. And it is in Costco. It's been in three different times. It'll come back in September. We have a lot of guests who call us and say, can you make it for us so we can have it? But no, wait till September. <laughs> it'll, be back. it'll be back in the store. But this, this is incredible. Is, uh, it's got such great flavor for something that just comes out of a package. Totally. Now, this is not frozen at the store. It comes fresh. Oh, okay. good. Yeah, so you can just put it right into the, uh, right into the pan or into the microwave. And of course, a little red wine with that makes it even better. I think some mm. <laughs> Mark Ryan and John Howie Cabernet, which has been a 10-year project we've and been working on together. Our guests love this wine. Mm -hmm. um, we they, love this wine. Uh, We're about to. This soup. This is so delicious. Thank so you. warming, a little kick to it. That's why it's they really wait till nice. September to put yeah. it back in the store. I can see that. They like to have a little seasonal products. And so apparently you were one of the first cooking segments on this show. The very first I remember. Actually. Maria loved it. <laughs> I wasn't here yet. <laughs> Maria loved it and actually went to Costco to get it. No, no, no. This was stroganoff, and it was at Beardsley. It's where we make it. We mm. make it with filet mignon there, and we make it with a, a, large, a longer noodle and that type of stuff. That's what I was saying, that it's a little different than what I did on the show the first oh, okay. time. So we kind of fixed that recipe to make it good for Costco. And this is like two and a half pounds worth of food. So you can feed four people. Or, you know, depending on what or you're going through in life, just <laughs> one sitting. <laughs> Enjoy it yourself. Or, or one person. Yeah. <laughs> this is probably a two serving for me. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> or maybe Mark too. Maybe, yeah. I, I think I'm in that, in that camp. All right. Yeah. Tell us all about this wine. So the wine I poured for you guys, which I think goes great with the beef stroganoff mm -hmm. and the soup as well. Mm -hmm. This is Cabernet Sauvignon that we do for John every year. Cheers. We meet with, with uh, John and Eric and we put this blend together. Mm -hmm. You can only find it at... Um, John Howie Steak, Sea Star, and Beardsley. Mm -hmm. um, and kind of a fun thing we're doing, we're working on a white wine for them as well. So we're proposing this. So this is kind of a first look at some Chardonnay mm -hmm. that we're proposing for a John Howie label that could be out in the next couple of months. That's and so Eric, exciting. Eric is my wine director yeah. and sommelier who's known Mark even longer than yeah. I have. Uh -huh. Eric, Eric and I were in the trenches selling wine at the <laughs> oh. for distributors in the oh. early, early days. Yeah. So fun and, stuff. And Eric's also my distiller for my, for my distillery that's in Bothell and uh -huh. soon to be opening in Ballard. You do so. it all. I remember when he came to visit you, you gave us tastes of so many different spirits. We even have like non-alcoholic spirits. We do. He and made Genesis, which is awesome. Yes, it's a Genesis. Great non -alcoholic I think I was at the Space Needle and I saw that they had that in the bar up oh, there nice. too. Yeah. So. Yeah. Well, yesterday we just won double gold best in show at the San of Francisco. Of course you did. Okay. <laughs> of course you did. Congratulations. San Francisco yes. show for our rye. How does that feel? Do you ever get sick of just like winning everything or does it feel good every time? <laughs> it feels time? good every time. <laughs> every time it feels good. So. What do you guys remember about your first impressions of each other when you met? Oh, I was terrified of this guy. <laughs> you just, guys are I, both I, really tall. Don't, don't, don't let him kid you. <laughs> no. We've just, I mean, we have, you know, our wine and, and John's restaurants mm -hmm. just have always fit well together. So yeah. even before we started making wines for the restaurant group, mm -hmm. 
he was a great customer for all of our Mark Ryan wines and board track racer labels as well. I'll tell you one thing that really worked out well was during the pandemic, mm -hmm. we did family meals, and every time we ma matched Mark's wine with our family meals, we'd sell almost one to two bottles for every family meal we did. Oh my God. And it That's really kind of helped pairing. out getting some more wine out there too. So. Definitely. Yeah. During a time when it wasn't easy for any of us. Okay, everybody was <laughs> kind of struggling and figuring out how, how to do this. Right. I think um, yeah. us and, and John Howie worked well together. And now yeah. you're here. And let's get back to this food. I have always said I will burn cereal. So is this <laughs> is this like China proof? Is there no way? Because can I make it taste like this? Because I don't feel like oh, I can do this. You just mix the packages together. <laughs> That's China. it. Put them put them in a microwavable bowl. Microwave. Yeah, put it in the microwave Talking for four me. minutes. Pull it out, toss it, put it back in the microwave for two minutes. It's done. It's just like this, ready to go. It's there that simple. Go. This is so exciting. Even my wife can do it, and she only makes popcorn and chardonnay. Hey, she might be the right person, right? She, we love to hear it. What's did. something y'all haven't done before that you really want to do next? Whew, I, oh, you go first. There's so many. Yeah. We're talking about maybe starting to import a little champagne, yep. and through John and Eric's connections in France, mm -hmm. we might we might be able to make that happen. So yeah. we're at early stages, but. We think that'd be a great addition to our portfolio. It, it, it would be an New awesome Year's? addition. And what it is, is that the gentleman who, we, we've done our own champagne for several years. Eric mm -hmm. goes back to champagne. He just came back two weeks ago mm -hmm. from blending our champagne. It gets bottled and then two years later we pick it up. Mm -hmm. So Michel Bismontier is, was the gentleman who was working for Dual Lois. When they sold, they didn't want to do it anymore. But anyways, Michel started his own. And so we're getting him to make wine that hopefully Mark will be able to import and we'll have great champagne from Michelle too. Yeah. Would you cook with it? You know what, this is what I like. <laughs> so people say, you know, you put anything in there, it's okay. No, yeah. put, I, wouldn't put, I wouldn't put wine in my food that I wouldn't drink. Great, so right. That's what I'm Because sometimes with. people yeah. think that's There's like no the, the less exciting wine that they put, or cheaper wine, I guess I would say, yeah. that they cook with. But you're yeah. saying cook with no, the good stuff. Cook with good wine. Yeah. You don't use a lot of it. Yeah. I mean, then drink the rest. And drink the rest. Yeah. <laughs> and let everyone who's watching know where they can come. After they've bought the Costco meals and gotten the wine, where can they find your products around Seattle and what restaurants? Well, well <laughs> all of John's restaurants yep. for sure. Yep. We, um, we partner. You can find Mark's pretty much everywhere. Everywhere, yeah, both of them. I think our are wines better. are out there, yeah. uh, pretty broadly distributed. Yeah, but John Howie Steak has uh, got a wide array of Mark's wines and yeah. stuff, and so yep. does Beardsley. And actually, do we have it on tap there too? Not we're, right now. We're working on that. Soon, <laughs> working on it. We have a tap system at Beardsley, yeah. and so we've been working on trying to get some of his on tap too. Yeah. Which now, is really nice. I think usually on this show, correct me if I'm wrong, mm -hmm. you guys take some some bites and you put it down and, and you chat. I have not been able to. You've not put that bowl down. <laughs> so I've just been this whole segment. It is absolutely it. fantastic. So this is. Oh, well, we get a white the, one. Yeah. 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 Yeah.